Hello there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. If you're watching this video, then you're probably getting ready to make your very first call using Phone Burner through your Zoho CRM. Now, the great thing about Phone Burner is it allows you to power through your calls at a rate of 60 to 80 dials per hour from multiple modules within your Zoho environment. Whether you work from leads, accounts, contacts, vendors, or any other custom module, you can use the phone burner power dialer to really start to call through your data at a much more rapid pace than you do normally. Now, before you do any power dialing session to multiple records within any module, I recommend that the first call you make be to a sample contact, a contact of your choosing that contains all of the information that you're going to care about while you're making calls. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's talk through it. So here on this screen, you can see I've got a contact record, Kyle Rayner. This is just a sample contact that I've loaded into this particular account, happens to be in the contacts module, but you'd want to have one in any module that you're going to be doing calls from. And what I want you to think about are all of the fields associated with this record. So here you can see I've got all these different fields here, right? And you want to make sure that the very first call that you make is to a contact that has every field filled out. And I'm going to give you an example of why. So you can see I have most fields filled out. That's tough to say. But right here, I've got this custom date on contacts. This one is blank. And I'm going to show you why that can be a problem. But before we do that, let's jump over to Phone Burner and let's look at our custom fields in Phone Burner. When you first create a Phone Burner account, you're not going to have a lot of custom fields. You're not going to have a lot of fields in general within your Phone Burner account. Basic contact information, name, phone number, email address, address information, those fields exist, but anything else is considered a custom field on the Phone Burner system. And we give you a couple fields out of the box, but any additional fields would be created by you. Now with our Zoho integration, those fields are actually going to be created by Zoho when you make your very first phone call. And we want to make sure that those fields get created properly. And what I mean by properly is that they get set up with the right field type. Right now, Phone Burner has three types that integrate well with HubSpot. That is a text field, a date field, and a checkbox field. Now, I know there's a lot of other field types in Zoho. Anything outside of checkbox or date field gets created as a text field on the Phone Burner side right now. And so we want to make sure that if we have a date field in HubSpot, we want it to be created as a date field in Phone Burner. So let's jump back over to Zoho and let's do a quick call to our sample contact, Kyle. So I'm going to click on this Phone Burner button and that's going to start our dial session to this specific contact. Okay, so now that I'm connected, you'll see I've got my contact pulled up here. I've got phone numbers, I've got details, I've got the custom fields were pulled over from Zoho and I want to point out the date fields. So here you see date first contacted. That is set up as a date selector field. And let's go back to phone burner. Let's refresh our custom fields here. You'll see text fields for most of them. Here's a checkbox. Checkbox, date selector. But what was that other field that I told you we needed to review? Let's go back to Zoho and that was custom date on contacts. So we want custom date on contacts. And so here you can see our custom date on contacts was actually created as a text field. And it was created as a text field because the actual record that was sent to phone burner when the session was initiated was blank. There was nothing in that field. So if we scroll around here, we'll find it custom date on contact, custom date on contact. There it is. So you can see it was blank. If it comes over blank from Zoho, Phone Burner has no reference point in order to understand that that really should have been a date field. And so it's created as a text field because we didn't know that it should have been some other type of field. So in conclusion, what I recommend is that the very first call that you make using the phone burner power dialer through Zoho, that you make that call to a record, whether that's a contact lead or any other type of record from any other module, that that record contain data in all of the fields that you're gonna care about so that 
foam burner will create those fields properly on the foam burner side. Now that's it for this particular video, but I do want to point out, if you go to our training, our Zoho training, you'll find that one of the training sections in there talks about Zoho fields in foam burner. That is a bit more in depth, so I'd recommend that you go through that training to understand how the fields between Zoho and foam burner interact with each other. But thank you for taking a moment to watch this particular video and I hope it helps you get more out of the foam burner integration with Zoho so that you can start getting more done in less time using the power of foam burner. Thanks again and happy dialing.